Generally, with your printer platform, it's going to be coated with an adhesive that allows your print to bond to a sacrificial layer, like tape, before it bonds to the polycarbonate. You don't want to print directly on this bed, because if you do, it's going to fuse and you'll have to buy a new bed. MakerBot used to sell full sheets of blue tape that you could just slap on, but they're very hard to find, so we're going to use something that is cheap, effective, and readily available. Now, if you have a replicator 2 bed, I find that the 2-inch tape coupled with one piece of the 3-inch tape gives you full coverage. It's generally a good idea to leave your tape with tabs so that when you go to lay down your tape, you can just match the edge of the bed on one side and then the other, making sure everything lays flat. And the pull tab folded over really just makes it easier for you to lay the tape flush and then peel the tape up when you're done doing your adherence. It's always a good idea to keep scissors around so when you're going to do the other end, you can just cut your tape and then reach in and fold over the tab to the back side. Right? And that gives you something that you can pull on with ease. So again, you do that with the three inch tape. Generally, I'll use the three inch tape in the middle because many prints are not greater than three inches wide. And so occasionally you won't need the full breadth of the bed. And when that happens, it's really nice because you can just peel up the middle layer of your part. And so when you lay down the three inch tape, you wanna make sure that your tape is lined up flush to the previous edge of the 2 inch tape. So the 3 inch should be flush, the 2 inch should be flush, and you're just trying to get a uniform coverage over that bed that's easy to remove. Okay. Okay. So again, just bending that ear over. So we've got something to grab onto, and that just makes it easier to remove the tape once you've got a part that's on there really big. If you've laid down something that's got really good adhesion or takes up a lot of surface area, I found that if you use the full sheet, it's really hard to get the full sheet off. It's just as hard as getting it off without the tape. So if you're still running tape on a bed, I strongly encourage you to use a couple of pieces of different size tape for whatever works for your print bed. Now we've got the first folded over piece. We're going to line up our edges like so. Lay it over the edge of the platform. Fold over the tab to the last piece of tape, and then smooth it flush, and then you're ready to level the bed.